Hi there, this is Pete Howard, Director of Concert Posters for Heritage Auctions. And this is Gary Shrum, Director of the Music Department here at Heritage, and we've got a lot to tell you about our auction coming up in a very special piece. That's right, in fact, the cover piece of the uh, Music Memorabilia <laughs> Catalog, this auction, and there's Gary holding it. Um, just so beautifully rare and and early and Beatlemania and everything. It's just, we're, we're cutting a video for this piece just for the fun of it. And we've, I can't remember doing well, that before. It's, it's the rarity of it too. Mm -hmm. Neither one of us have ever seen this piece. Everybody that we've talked to is going, what? Laura Scudder potato chips? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, we found it and you know, here we are 60 years later mm -hmm. and something like this shows up that nobody's seen. Mm -hmm. We need to talk about it, it's very important. Yeah, it certainly is and it's just amazing after 60 years, every so often, every couple of few years, a new piece comes out that uh, just had not been discovered and that's an example with this. And you know, I was just thinking this morning a theory about that. When promo pieces were sent to record stores, you had music people and record geeks and everything working in the record stores. One or two are bound to save something. In a grocery store or a 7-Eleven or a regular food merchant, nobody saved anything. It all no. went in the dumpster behind the store. No, it's the <clears> same, <throat> same for the, the Doors poster that hung up for Chicken of the Sea. Uh -huh. Nobody can find that either. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, but anyway, March 1964 is when this EP was released on VJ Records, and it had a picture sleeve with the same artwork. Um, the Nicholas Volpe was the artist for these great Beatle portraits. I just love those. And across the top, it said souvenir of their visit to America. Well, this is the poster advertising that, so they had to add the word record, souvenir record of their visit to America. And we just love it when our promo pieces add some words. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> make it a little different, change some color. <clears throat> mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. with this, yeah. it, it was a really great EP that came out early on. At that time, the Beatles had pretty much all the time six to 10 entries in the top 30 for the first half of 64. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that was very exciting. And these songs were just fabulous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Gary and I can both lay claim to have being first generation Beatle fans. We remember, we were little kids, yeah. but we remember the magic of that time. That <laughs> first half of 64, the Beatles were just untouchable and just such a warm, fuzzy presence, you know, after JFK's sure. assassination and so forth. And this is, the, I, the, I just love the earliness of these songs. In fact, one of them, Ask Me Why, was even recorded in 1962. And yet this is a current promo piece for the record, which VJ had the rights to and were trying to sell. And thanks to Bruce, Bruce Spicer's really authoritative Beatles books, this sold about 80,000 copies, but that was not enough to get on the Billboard charts. Right. So it doesn't have a presence on the charts. But I mean, And um, the thing is that it, the album had come out very early mm -hmm. in the year. Mm -hmm. So most of the fans already had the album that had all four of these tracks on it. Mm -hmm. So that was why they did it. I mean, plus it was almost twice the price of a single. Mm. So yeah. people weren't buying it. Thought, well, I've already got them. I, it's cool, but yeah, I didn't get it. Yeah, yeah, so, exactly. And um, what's <clears> something <throat> else? It's double sided. Oh, that's right. That's so you could see it. You'd see the potato chip display coming from the back of it or coming up from the front of it. Mm -hmm. And it would grab your attention. It was probably on one of those cardboard tubes that came up in the middle of a thing that could hold potato Car chips. Or one of those metal racks that had the little clips. We have to guess because we don't know. No mm -hmm. pictures. Yeah, yeah. I just love the deep flesh tones of the Beatles' faces on this. It's such, it's such a colorful rendition. And it's kind of funny, Gary. It's sort of like Meet the Beatles album cover, except instead of being on the bottom, Ringo's on the top for this one. <laughs> so he got he got some nice... <laughs> top billing. <laughs> top dog. <laughs> yeah. And it's, even his haircut's a little bowl-like or something. It's just really cute. But anyway, we could talk for half an hour about this, but we're just, just so jazzed yeah. to have this as the cover piece. The of bottom it. line, it's cool. <laughs> yeah. It's really rare. And, uh, and Gary, you use the expression stupid cool sometimes. Yes. Yeah, what it's <laughs> That's me what <laughs> mega stupid cool. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> so um, we love it. And we're having, you know, we have our Beatles section in the catalog. We've got mm -hmm. all kinds of other groovy things coming up. The three-day auction has got to have two poster catalogs with some of the best posters we've ever had. Mm -hmm. This particular uh, catalog all has a section 14 Cancer America in it, mm -hmm. which is very important, very cool. Mm -hmm. A great Beatles section in it, mm -hmm. and a great A through Z section. Mm -hmm. You've got Prince, you've got Nirvana, you've got uh, 
The Who, mm -hmm. and you've got the Beatles. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, uh, and so that catalog's on Thursday, April 11th, right. and that's when this piece will be. And then on Friday, April 12th, and Saturday, April 13th, our concert posters. So to see, you know, to read a long description of this and see more pictures and hear all about the auctions, just go to our website, go to ha.com slash 7363. See you there.